Hey there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. Sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking love and marriage hustle. You guys know why you are here. Today we are talking about a digital exclusive, you guys, that was posted by Owen. Uh, that is Martel complaining about $100 to Chris Fletcher, you guys. Uh, what is happening? What is going on? Why do I feel like we are are in the twilight zone and just saying the same thing over and over and over again like groundhog day uh because i thought successful multi-millionaire martel which is completely full of it um is now upset because as you guys know he wanted to try to take melody Shree's money uh during the custody battle uh and you know that he wanted to have you know chris and now you know testify on martel's behalf and be character witnesses and all of these things and remember chris helped martel find a home right because he had to be removed from the rental right he couldn't stay there anymore uh, so therefore, uh, since Chris has not found him a new place, uh, there was, you know, this additional conversation that he is claiming that Mar you, that Martel basically had to pay uh, to get the carpet cleaned in the home, to show the home, and that pretty much uh, the owner of the house, so the owner of the rental that Martel's doing, and Chris, tracked mud uh, during the house while they were showing the home to potential uh, purchasers of the home potential buyers uh and of course chris the professional he is is like listen i need to see receipts that this mud allegedly is because of me and the owner make it make sense you guys and then after that martel of course who takes zero responsibility who takes zero accountability for anything and is always placing the blame on others right he decides you know what I'm not going to provide receipts. I'm just going to charge you the $100, right? And then if that's not bad enough, Martel still without providing receipts, right? Is basically saying he told uh, Chris that he knew that there was mud in the house because the owner refused to take off their shoes. Now, if you are not there and oh, the owner and Chris is showing the house, how do you know that they refuse to take their shoes off, right? Um, and, 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 and I'm just over it. And I guess because he is doing age ageism, right? Because the owner is in their 70s, right? So he's doing ageism and assuming the elder did not take their shoes off, right? Uh, and so he's up here saying, you know, alleging that, you know, that there were dirty footprints and claims and alleges that his children do not wear shoes in the house and Martel alleges that he doesn't wear shoes in the house and that he wears flip flops, which by the way, can still track dirt, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so anyways, uh, he feels he's disrespected. And he feels that him and the kids were disrespected on a rental of somebody else's home, you guys, that Martel is being kicked out of because they need to sell the home, you guys. Uh, so there it is, right? And, uh, you know, Chris is coming back and being like, hey, you're blowing this up. You're saying that you had to, you know, hire somebody to come clean the carpet and, and all of these things. And then, of course, once Martel cannot take the heat, what does he do? He tries to pivot. He tries to move to another topic. And again, it flops, right? It absolutely flops because they have to circle back. And it is just embarrassing at this point. It is just embarrassing. Why is Martel just doing this foolishness, you guys? Anything for a storyline, anything to get camera time on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I think somebody was asking uh, the other day, is Martel still on the show? Of course he's still on the show. <laughs> of course he's still on the show. What else is he going to do for income? Where is Martel getting his income from, you guys? And why is $100 a stepping point? And how, with zero receipts, and zero cameras and zero facts to verify and validate that the alleged owner of the place that you're renting and that Chris, your realtor, alleged that they tracked through the home in mud and dirt and tracked dirt all the way uh, through the home as they're trying to sell this home because you got to go because you got to leave, Martel. Uh, make it make sense, you guys. It does not make any sense to me. 
Are you guys going to be watching the next episode that is going to be airing tomorrow night on OWN? What do you think of the shenanigans? It is just giving broke by broke. I ain't got it by Martel, and I am over it. I am over these broke shenanigans, you guys. And, 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 and the ghetto to even bring this on camera, you guys. To bring something like this on camera because you have nothing of substance to discuss, right? And you're trying to, uh, you know, take down Chris's reputation that he is up here, you know, unprofessional uh, with owners and doing during home showings and just leaving people's homes any old kind of way. Except for this is not even Martel's home, right? This is not even Martel's house, right? So, so, so again, just another layer to the madness. Uh, so there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.